Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. Today we're going to discuss the issue of delays and specifically delays that traders experience when they enter or exit their positions. We're also going to talk about requotes that are directly linked to those delays. Uh, but ideally, what we want to kind of get across in this video is that these delays can work against you simply because you're not able to enter or exit the market when you want. Now, if you're using a true ECM broker or the one that doesn't manipulate market conditions or prices, then your execution will be instant. You will be able to enter or exit the market whenever you want. However, if you're using a market maker broker, they work slightly differently. So when you click either buy or sell uh, that we have here on the left hand side, your order may not be executed straight away. Sometimes it may not be executed at all, but it's more than likely that if you're able to enter, it will be a few seconds after you click the buy or sell buttons. Now at periods of high volatility, this delay could be as long as 10 seconds, and this could be very crucial, especially if you're trading low time frames. Now the reason for this delay is that your broker is not able to provide the price that they're quoting at the time, so they give you the next best thing, a requote for the same transaction at a different price. So the price that you originally saw and wanted is no longer available. So for example, if I wanted to enter the market now at 38.2, I would not be able to enter that market at 38.2. The actual buying price would be much higher provided as a requote and then I will have to make a decision whether I want to enter the market or just leave the leave the trade and move on to the next one. Now this is if this happens then this is a basic example of how the broker is making or changing market conditions in their favor and you may find that the requoted price has a much wider spread on it meaning that the broker makes more money out of you should you accept that requote and in fact don't be surprised that during this high volatility the requoted price also gets requoted and it's always in the favor of the broker so the spread between the selling and the buying price would widen out so much that it will make you want to question whether you want to enter that trade or not so in terms of our example what we've got here in front of us is a one minute chart and the reason why we chose a one minute chart is because it's a very quick uh, price moving chart where you have to be very quick to enter your trades and obviously exit for a profit so let's say that we wanted to enter here at the bottom of this candle so we'll just mark that with a line and we'll also mark, it, mark that with a horizontal line so that the cross represents the point of our entry our stop loss will be just a few pips below as normal and our profit target will be just under the high of this swing here so we've got entry here stop loss here and the profit target there now this looks like a very good trade if you've got you know low spreads and you're trading uh, low time frames so the actual pip amount might not be great but if your investment is a lot more then you know this could be a great trade um, now let we click the buy button here but the broker doesn't allow us to get in at that point instead it gives us a delay and we end up entering on this candle here at this point where we've got the new cross so now the trade that we originally had with the prices that we wanted is no longer available and we are only able to enter at this point now this means that our risk reward ratio is all of a sudden shrunk you know now we've got a big big stop loss and a very very small target the actual difference between the each side of that line is quite different meaning that the bottom line is now much much further away and the worst case scenario is if you're wrong and this trade ends, ends up going downwards then your loss will be far greater than what it would have been under the original price so this is where market makers can really kind of make us pay for using them really and as I mentioned a bit before all the trades and all the setups always go in their favor so if your broker is requoting you you may find that the buttons you use for buying or selling like we have on the top right hand here top right hand left hand corner rather sorry here will have wording on it such as market or please wait or something like that um, and this is when the world stands still while you wait for the broker to make up their mind 
So like I said, if you're experiencing anything like this, it's more than likely that you're using a market maker broker who wants to make more money out of you by providing requoted prices. However, you should always be able to enter the market straight away at the quoted prices and it's and it should only be up to you when to enter the market, not the broker. So just be a little bit more careful, do a lot more investigation, and if this does happen within your broker platform, then ask your broker why this has happened. Um, to make it easier for you, what we've done on our website, we've provided a list of Forex brokers for you to choose from. So if you go to capexforextrading.com and just click this Forex Brokers tab here, you will see a table that lists various Forex brokers that we've approved. Now each one of those brokers has a link on it to open a live account or to open a demo account. So it's completely up to you. Have a little play around and uh, see if you can find a broker that's suitable there for you. Um, so that concludes this lesson. If you do want to follow us on our YouTube channel, that would be great. Also, if you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or Google+, that would be fantastic. And we shall see you for the next lesson. Thanks.